This is a very special video. It's not only an exclusive tour of a gorgeous sailboat that just crossed the Atlantic Ocean, but a real look at the hospitality within the sailing community. This is what makes sailing around the world all the more worthwhile, because you never know who you'll meet and how truly wonderful they'll be. So this morning we are all dressed up to go have Turkish coffee with our new Turkish friend Pamish and his lovely wife. Hopefully be able to show you guys a tour of their beautiful Beneteau Oceanus 40 foot center cockpit. I think that's really cool and I'd love to show it to you guys. Good morning, good morning. Absolutely beautiful. I love the Oceanus line, but in particular the center cockpit I think is just such a cool... Uh, I'm excited to see down below. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm so happy to be here. We brought you guys a little bit of sprouts and wahoo. Sprouts? I'm a hugger. <laughs> This is a dangerous boat for me to be on. I'm starting to fall in love a little. I just want to walk up here and check it all out. You got great handholds your whole way up. I do like this, so you have like, I don't know. I don't like grabbing Ron straight onto the shrouds. These are really good too, so you can kind of pin yourself against them. As well as you can hold a few things up here. It's not a ton of foredeck space, but that's how it goes with any center cockpit boat. Remember, this is a boat that's exactly five feet longer than my buddy Jay's. So that's a little bit different. Big, big. That's three ace. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Now that is cool. Yeah, no, no, no swell is getting in there. For sure though, with all center cockpit boats, most of your space is gonna be down below. My boat has a lot more open cock or open uh, foredeck. But here, I mean, this is plenty perfect space to walk between. Um, I like it a lot. It does pinch you as you come through here. That gets pretty tight, but you've got a lot of things to hold on to, so I don't think that's really a problem. Looks like they have all their lines set up to be reefed from the back. Nothing really to come up here for, and that's what you really want. <laughs> if you're doing ocean crossings, which they just did, this boat just came from Europe on their way over here as they both just retired. And we're gonna hear more about their story soon. And a quick bit about the back of the boat. He's got some solar panels here that are really you know, not in the way of anything else. He can tilt up when he wants to use them or put them down. As well as the wind generator there. So two forms of electricity, that's great. But the center cockpit gives you all this space here in the back. He's got two F lazarettes and then a good, look at this step down swim platform. I like this. This was actually what I really wanted for my first boat, so that's a big thing. And because they just crossed the ocean, they've got the hydro vane here. This is what will steer the boat while they're out there in the ocean without using any electricity. That about does it for me here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of this beautiful Turkish-owned boat. I love the cockpit. So I'm here with some new friends. I'm going to introduce you to them and they're going to introduce you to their sailboat. Oops. <laughs> Hello. My name is Pamir from Turkey. My wife. Gülnur. My name is Gülnur. Uh, we set sail. And uh, Pamuk. Yeah, oh, yes, is, the cat's name. Yeah. Cat is Pamuk. Yeah, Pamuk. We, we set sail uh, a year ago from Turkey. Uh, we crossed to Met and then uh, we crossed the Atlantic. Uh, from Mindalo to Barbados and all the way uh, Pomuk is with us and he has no trouble uh, <laughs> when we are sailing. He always eat this flying fish. Oh. When they fly on board, we collect, <laughs> we collect. He's very happy. And, and put the uh, bucket and then he just look at the bucket and eat the fish. He's very happy then. <laughs> so, uh, uh -oh. yeah. What kind of a sailboat is yeah, this? Yeah, we, we have a Benetou uh, 40 center cockpit boat. Boats for uh, us. We are very happy about the boat. Uh, what's the draft? My, our draft is oh. about six feet. Six feet? And what's about the beam? Six feet. Beam is approximately four meters. And what's the air draft? How high? Uh, it's approximately 14 meters. Really? Yeah, 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 14 meters. We bought it from an uh, Austrian guy. Uh, the, the boat is never chartered. Uh, it was like new, uh, yeah. very, very, very lightly used. In order to cross the ocean, we just make some modifications. We just put a hydrovane uh, self steering. Uh, yes, I saw that back there. Yeah, yeah. Back there. And we put solar panels. Yes. Uh, and also we have a pole for the Genoa. 
uh, you know, the pull yeah. out. Up on the yeah, mast, yeah. yeah. The general yeah, pull. And th that's it. Uh, it was okay for us. Okay. Uh, and we have very bad weather on the ocean. Yeah. And the boat, boat is very okay, no problem. I yeah. feel very, like, I feel yeah. very safe in this cockpit. It's yeah. very consuming. Yeah. What would you say is your average cruising speed? How fast do you normally yeah, sail? In, in order, uh, for example, uh, we can cruise with the engine, 5.6 five knots, 5, five okay. knots, 6 knots. With the engine on? With the engine and with the uh, sail, if it's the weather, according to the weather, it's approximately 6 knots, 6.5, 7 knots. Yeah. But uh, we have full rig, not fractional rig. Yeah. So we have to reef early. Yeah. Other than uh, the, the weather helm, you know, uh, yeah. weather helm just uh, the, the boat turns to the wind, so it's better to reef early. Because I guess this, this kind of would be, yeah, this would be, a, this is smaller than my helm, yeah. and I'm on a smaller boat with less sail area, so you would really feel weather helm on this. Yeah, we have a hydraulic system. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's like a car, you know, it's very light. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. so what he's saying is this boat has power steering. Yeah, I, actually, yeah, I, I yeah, didn't know that was even a thing. Yeah, that is, really, yeah, but it makes yeah. sense. It'd be very easy yeah, to do. And how many people does this boat sleep comfortably? Uh, according to me, uh, two people there and two people here. Four people is very comfortable here. Yes. But our uh, cockpit table can be a bed. Yes. So two people there, six people, but uncomfortable. Wonderful. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a look down below? Yeah, and yeah of course. Yeah. Take come a look. On, come on. Oh, wonderful. Very open, very spacious, ton of headroom. I'm on my tippy toes right now. And I can't quite go. Oh, there we go. I got the ceiling. Okay. So that's actually, that's quite a bit of headroom. Very few boats have this much headroom. And I know people that will buy sailboats specifically so they can stand up on their boat. Wow. I can certainly stand up on mine, but this is a bit taller than mine, which I think is really, really nice. So this table can be a bit. We have smaller uh, lights. Yeah. We just this, change this it. This will drop down. And then we have a cushion here. Uh, it can be a big... Beautiful uh, map uh, of the yeah, Mediterranean. This is Mediterranean, yeah. Yes. <laughs> this part is a, a bedroom My here. Ah. Ah. But now it's a storage area for us. Yeah. <laughs> but this would be a double uh, yeah, 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 berth yeah, yeah, otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and also it's an own toilet and the cat's toilet now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, now it's cat, cat's toilet. Uh, and are these dates? Uh, it's uh, olive. Olives! Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, olives, yeah, olives in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's great is when you have a 40 foot boat, you end up being able to dedicate whole rooms just for storage, which is pretty neat. And that's what they've got up here. They got the cat litter box. They don't even need to use any of this. And then was there a, oh, okay, it would be a wet shower up here. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. we have another one. Also, also yeah, yeah, also with the center cockpit, you end up getting two bathrooms yeah. instead of one. So there's a, there's a big advantage to that on a 40 foot so, boat. So for example, when you close this door, there is yours. You have a toilet, yeah. you have a double bird. Uh, and you, have and you even have this storage. too, which is yeah, really yeah. nice. And look at this, you've got a spot for, yeah, yeah. for books, you have yeah, spots yeah, for yeah, clothing, yeah, yeah. you have a little closet. Yeah, we have some food stuff here. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to have, say, two couples on here, I think it'd be very comfortable. And that's the big thing, is I like Jay's boat, but it's not really, it's definitely not for full-time two couples. You probably do a couple in the back and one person up front. Um, but on this boat, you know, it's very, very comfortable to be having two couples on board, which is a great situation if you get to it. So this is a pretty, pretty spacious bed. Downside of this bed is you have to cross over the other person. So you kind of put whoever on the outside gets up more in the middle of the night. And that's the only way to be happy there. But you're not fully in the V berth. You're actually a little ways back. So it's still going to be fairly stable here. Uh, and this just looks like a very comfortable bed. It's a nice bed height. As well, if you're one person, this becomes an incredibly comfortable bed that you can get into from the side instead of the front or the back, which is how really all other beds work. You know, I look at my boat in the V berth, I have to get in technically feet first. And same thing in the aft cabin is you go feet first into it, which is kind of a pain. It'd be nicer if you could go head first on it. But the best is this, side onto it. But for them, it's just the two of them plus the cats. So they have all this storage room. Very cool. Let's take a look further back. So this is our... Uh, this is the navigation yeah, station. This is nav station. It's nav station. Okay. We have VHF here. Uh, oh! Yeah. VHF. I've never seen it like that. It's nice. Like like, like a phone. Yeah. yeah this is pretty good too. Yeah, you, can you know what I'll like say this. is few editing stations can be... Or yeah. few um, navigation stations can be made into yeah. editing stations. On my boat, I made mine into an editing station. But this one you can do a lot with. It seems very comfortable. And also, we have this ham radio here. Mm. Uh, it's not SSP. Chart plotting. Yeah. It's SSP, but ham radio. Chart plot, it's, it's a radar. Space radar. Here. We have radar here. Yeah. Uh, and also... The most useful thing in our station here 
this gun will enrich. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't have cell phone. We yeah. don't have cell phone. But every day in the ocean, uh, our friends pass yeah. messages for us about the weather. You can do text messages, yeah. and there's all sorts of ways to yeah. do it. It's I have the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. This is the Garmin InReach it, Mini. Yeah. And talk about Mini. I mean, that yeah. thing is, that's yeah. great. It is cheap. And very, very useful. Yeah, I mean, very, very, very you get all the information, especially like he was saying, if you have a friend yeah. on the other side who can help you, that you can just know that they'll text you the weather every day. That saves you a lot of services you'd otherwise have to pay for. Yeah. And also, we have tracker mode. They saw oh, us yeah. where we are in the ocean. Yeah, a so lot of times, exact, it's exact when you send a text message, yeah, yeah. it'll give the text and it'll give the latitude and longitude of when they texted it. So you can connect all those dots through, which would actually be really cool too, to see your tracks across the entire Atlantic Ocean. Super cool. So now we move back. We have lots of things. Good storage. And also think we have uh, inboard generator. Uh, this mm -hmm. is the uh, control panel of the generator. Very cool. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, <laughs> India, Julia, Kilo, Lima, Mike. It's not so easy to remember. I, I had to remember it for this <laughs> camp that I did one time for a couple of years. Um, so here we've got the nice big booth seating, which here you definitely spend a lot of time. I imagine at sea too, and you don't want to be up top, this would be really nice because it still kind of holds you in pretty yeah, well. Yeah. Boats are a weird compromise between like being cozy and being restricted. Yeah. You want cozy, but you also want some freedom, and yeah, you so just find the balance. Especially in the ocean, you know, the, this rolly. Roll yeah. Race. You can lie down here, and this is like a leak load. Yeah. That part. You can Put sleep a pillow here. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 And, and the other thing, too, that's good about that is then you're right there next to the helmsman, helmswoman, and they can tell you what's going on. Of course, you've got like the books and everything, but it's a very nice space. I like the lighting, too. The lighting is great to have it from the side. My boat gets good airflow and lighting from the top hatches, but that can be a little annoying once the day gets on and the sun just starts to glare on you versus having it here. I mean, these are beautiful, big side ones. I, I like this a lot. This just brightens the whole space completely. Um, I assume that the engine would be under here. Yeah, under here. And I'm going to show you engine from the other place. Beautiful, beautiful. And here we've got the bottom of a power winch, actually. Yeah, yeah, power winch. You can see, like, winches on my boat are quite a bit bigger, but they're man. Manual. This is much newer as well power and look at the, the gearbox and the motor on that thing Got to be careful though power winches when you uh, start to use those you need to make sure that you're not going to break anything When you're doing it by yeah, hand yeah. you can feel yeah, right. how much you have to work yeah, So it's just yeah. one of those it's a pro and a con yeah. like everything yeah. on a boat yeah. There's nothing on a boat. that's like yeah. the best yeah, unless that's, it's floating yeah, that's right. uh, You have to be very careful when you are using the power winch. Yes, yeah, yeah. you're right and then uh, the galley here yeah. another thing people love about uh, uh, center cockpit boats is the galley becomes like a very long, uh, very useful space. You can have multiple people working in here. Of course, you have the gimbling stove, double burner, a big and a small, uh, an oven down here, I would assume, as well. And uh, yeah, I think it's too, so you have a way so you're not going to bump into it as well, too. So you can always be putting, this is how I always yeah, cook, yeah. You're, you're, always, you're always pinching, yeah, you're always yeah. pinching something in here. So you're not uh, you're not falling yeah, out. Pours right here. Ooh, and then look at this. You get done cooking. You know you've got some scraps. Oh really? <laughs> Don't even have to throw it. And if I was a betting man, I would say that hole right there. Yeah, that, that's is it? Did I find it? Yeah. This is your trash. This is the... yeah, sometimes we do that. Yeah, we are, we are right. oh, I love. It. I do that all the time. My boat. If it's food, it's going in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. It's the way to be done. Um, <laughs> got the sinker. I have the exact same faucet yeah, on yeah, my you boat. Can, you can. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so. Because this galley is is a slim space, you need to be able to walk through. I know your feet won't hit. My foot pump is a little bit further down, so I can always hit it from my uh, from my heel like this. So this one, you do have to reach up a bit to, to get to it, but you're able to also scoot your back against this, so you're not going to go anywhere while you're pumping. Um, oh, I'm excited for what this is going to be. Yeah, this is Turkish coffee. Oh. And also, we make your special dessert, Turkish dessert. Oh. Yeah, to taste it. That looks delicious. And this is semi. Oh. You know? It's English. So, no, I don't know. Maybe she knows. Oh, I bet she does. I bet she does. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So then here we have the full switchboard. We've got the DC and the AC panel. Um, they're running on 220 because it's a European boat. Mine is on 120. Um, let's see what else we got here. DC amperage. Well, this is the uh, wind generators. Oh, this is for yeah. the wind generator. Yeah, yeah. When, when wind generator works, That's you cool. see the amperage, uh, the, the electricity. Which... You must have it turned off right now. Yeah, we can do yeah. that. From here. Oh. Uh, no way. Could, could you turn it on? Yeah, yeah. No, no. but uh, there's no wind. There. For example, too yeah. much wind, you can make it off. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is able to see it with the glare. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can, like, 
Yeah. Prevent the glare. Oh, uh, well, anyway, this is perfectly showing all three of his batteries. Yeah. This is uh, heater. Yeah. Heater. And that one is the if shore you, uh, power. generator. Now there's nothing. If you're on shore, yeah. Put the shore power. Yeah. Now, this is showing me your three different batteries. I noticed that we've got 13 volts, 13.47. Yeah, yeah, so why are, they why are they not on the same? Are they not connected together? Why, why are the three different? One of different? them is service. One of them is the engine. Ah. Yeah, the, the and then the other one is service. The other service. one is, I think, from uh, boat thrusters. Yeah. Got you, got you. So they don't need to all be the same. So service, would that be your house battery bank? Okay. So this is the really, I, I like to say the house is the most important one. Um, I guess technically your starting battery is, but either way, 13.6 and 13.4 lithium. Um, yeah. No, no, we have uh, three house color, batteries. They are Victron uh, Energy gel, gel batteries. Okay, okay. Gel, batteries. gel is super reliable. Uh, and for the uh, engine, it is AGM. Again, yep. again uh, I used to have AGMs for mine, and I just Victron never energy. had a problem with and them. We have no problem. Since yeah. No, if, two if, years now. Two yeah. Years, if, if you have the space, they're just it's just so reliable. I love my lithium, but it is it's a very very I powerful so system, but also can be a bit yeah, finicky. Yeah. And also so. a little bit expensive. Huh? Uh, no, no, I, really. I, I built them myself. Yeah, you, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, congratulations then. Well, I, I had help. I had a lot of help. Yeah, I can't well. say I did it myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. You got great storage underneath here for everything you can want. And I like these, how they all have. Yeah, you have. You want to yeah, you can. You can, yeah, you can. That's cool. Then when you push it in, yeah. push that up. Yeah. So this way, when you're walking through, you don't end up hitting your hip. Yeah, yeah. And that's what's cool is this galley has to be yeah, very, yes. very well designed. This is some spaceship guess, technology I going in here. Like I said, this is meant so you can't possibly hit it. But even like this right here is meant so you can brace your foot. So you can get like a good brace while you're washing. Because this is something you have to be here for, for a little bit. That's really cool. Oh, they got a microwave. Yeah, we have a microwave. My, both of the microwaves can be pretty cool. Yeah. But it needs... 220, yeah. not 12 volt. So if we uh, go inverter start on, or the generator, generator and yeah. then we can make yeah. it no That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. We have a fridge here. Ah, I love seeing the fridge. Yeah, can, I often like to say the fridge is the heart of the boat. <laughs> and Beautiful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, freezer. Yes, yeah, so you yeah, get the whole yeah, freezer, freezer there. Yeah. That is. Yeah, very, very. Yeah, that's going to go down like almost my foot. This is a huge amount of fridge space um, because it's been elongated because of the, the way the galley works here. But because it's all elongated, you get a ton of usable space. And as soon as you put it down, you have a nice flush usable cockpit or um, countertop space. This is great. This is like seeing a fridge like this makes, especially if you're a couple, a lot of times the wife will see this and be like, I want this boat because the galley is so well engineered. And I also got to say, I like this too, how there's just enough space right here that you can still put a few things when you just want to move it for one second. That's just a nice little extra bit. Also, there is a fish I'll show you. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. I, I used to have a latch for mine, but it became more like a trigger. And one crew member in particular kept putting her head in there and then would hit it and kept hitting herself on the head. I felt, so I just took it out so she couldn't do it anymore. That's kind of how it's been. That's so simple. It's so good. That is wonderful. All right, now we're getting to the aft cabin. Now the aft cabin is the reason why you get a center cockpit. Oh, wow. I've never seen a bed this sort of spacious here. I mean, look at the cat. I love it. Oh, yeah, be careful. Yeah, you're biting me. So are you biting me? Be careful. Be you want to go? Yeah, you want to go? You know, I've been bitten by things way bigger than you. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, but yeah, for me, whenever I see a center cockpit boat, I always think, oh, they're going to have a real. Do you mind if I lay down? Yeah, yeah no problem. I go, oh, they're going to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, if you. Yeah, yeah. I can shoot too. Oh. oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's a game. What? Pomo? Oh. Be careful, maybe you can bite. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> when she goes through my face, then I'll get a little more worried. But anyway, but this is what I love, though, about a center. I still have got more room to go back up to about here. The fact that it's a real bed as opposed to some triangular thing or this or that, I love that first off. Second thing I love about a center cockpit bed is it's here in the very center of the boat, so you do the least amount of swaying. Yeah, that's and right. the third thing is it's in the back of the boat, so you do the least amount of this while you're sailing through the ocean. So this is amazing. I, just, I can't get over how much space there is here. That's that's really cool. Look at the cat. Cat's like, oh. I'm sorry, 
Anyway, so that's awesome. This is probably the most luxurious bedroom I've seen on a 40 foot boat. Engine room. Oh, no way. He just like barely, barely touched that. Oops. Wow. That's unique. Look at that. Buddy. That is amazing. I'm, I'm complimenting him on how clean that is. That might be the cleanest engine room I've ever seen. But I gotta go in there. Yeah. I gotta just. Oh my gosh. Look at how clean that is. I've always gotten compliments on my engine room being clean, and it definitely could be cleaner, but this one is just incredible. Wow. It's got everything in here. He's got tons of space to work on it. Again, another good thing about center cockpit, it really changes the layout of the boat. Um, there's pros and cons to it, but I think another big pro to it is just how much space the engine room ends up getting. Jay's boat being a 35 foot boat, you know, you still get quite a bit of engine space, but this one, the fact that you can get fully into it, you can also open up that whole door over there. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's at least one more other smaller door to get into it. But either way, I mean, here, I'm gonna just climb on in. Now, you know what's really funny? Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I didn't mean to do this, but I'm wearing all white right now. My entire outfit is white, and I just gladly hopped into the engine room. Oh, here we go. He's going to open that. Look at that. So there's another light here. Perfect. So uh, there is another feature. If you look down here, you can open. Oh, that's right! Yeah, yeah, and you you can, can go from the top yeah, on this, open, so you can get the engine out if you wanted to. Yeah, if you wanted. Yeah, so this whole thing comes out. Yeah, yeah. Talk about space work. So if you were doing a project for a really long time, you might do that just so you could stand up in here or who knows what, but... And this is the generator, you know? Yeah, this is... Oh, that is cool. I've never seen a generator so compact, so together. These are the battery bank. Yep. I just still think it's amazing that I'm in here in a full white outfit. Yeah, yeah. How, how many people can say on their boat that they have the space for you to crawl and be completely inside of it, and you can also be in all white while you're in there? That's, that's pretty impressive. You should be very, very proud. So we've got all the electrical going this way and that. That's just how it goes on a boat. Mine is no better. I actually prefer it on this one, how much higher all of his buses are. Uh, let's see what else I can find on here. Is this a water heater? Uh, a lot of boats like mine run directly off the yeah. pump and said this one sort of has yeah. like a pre-pump and it keeps the pump only keeps this thing it's a kind of tank. going yeah At but first, it's a pressurized tank yeah of course yeah, yeah. so it's going to have like a bladder in it that gets pressurized it's really cool. when you, when you switch on the water water I'll be right back here and he's got one of his uh, filters here another one of his filters here i'm just amazed at how incredibly clean this is and i mean look at this yeah now, this is amazing all right, well, I think I'm going to get out of here now that I've got a good sense of the whole place, but this is awesome. Thank you so much for letting me climb all the way in here. <laughs> Ooh. The cat's doing right at me. The cat knows he can hurt my arms, but he knows he can hurt my face. Oh, this is the other one. It's gorgeous, just white. That's nice, and you've got three places for air to come in here. But yes, this is the, the wet shower in here. And that's why the toilet will be right here. I have the exact same Jabsco head on my boat. These guys are super reliable. And then I'm gonna assume right here, yep, is the where the water goes. And then a small sump pump will pump out the water, so that way you're good. You got one, two, three places to get air into here, which is obviously very important to have airflow on your boat, uh, particularly in your bathroom. So uh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Expect nothing less. I really like though how it's this plastic everywhere. It's just for cleanup, a dream. And like, you can clean every little square inch of this you might possibly need. So that's really cool. This is one feature I didn't initially see, but it's this one little porthole right here that goes to the back. And it's cool for just a million reasons. I mean, you know, somebody could be waking up, the other person could be coming out from a swim and go, oh, look, I found a seashell, hand it through. But the real reason this captain and this captain like it yeah. is you had a place maybe you're a little nervous about and you're like, what if somebody tries to come on my boat at night? You will know for certain if somebody tries to come on your boat or not, because they're going to come right here. You're going to be able to see them. And I mean, especially if you're ready for somebody to come on here, there's a lot of uh, a lot of deterring things you could do from right here to so keep them. When you're lying down, you can see from the mirror outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got them from every angle. <laughs> so cool. And as well, if you want to, you yeah. can pop up through that hatch yeah, if you wanted to. Oh, really? Another one? Wow! 
if you want, you can and, open that. And one last thing I'll say that's really cool too is if you're in here and say you're at a marina or maybe it's wind against tide, the airflow will still come into here from there if the wind's coming this way. But the wind's coming through the back, which somehow I'm getting air through this like it's coming from the back, just the way the wind swims around the boat. Um, you'll still get airflow through here right to your bed, like the most important place. So this is cool. I just like it too. I mean, to be able to fully sit up on the bed and it's a full size bed is really, really nice. Pamir, you have a beautiful boat. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very, you. very happy for you. Thank do you have anything you. else left, for, left that we didn't talk about, do you think? Yeah, or? we've talked everything. Uh, we like the boat, it's, it's okay. Yeah. For a couple. For a couple, yeah. yeah. Well, and to be fair, like I said, it, you have the space up front for there to be another couple, and I think to live as well. Yeah. At that point, all you're really dealing with is personalities. Can yeah. the personalities match? Yeah. Everybody has different toilets. Yeah, different toilets, different beds. Yeah. And to be honest, I mean, you could be back here with your door closed, or if they were their door closed, yeah. both couples could be having their own yeah. arguments like normal and nobody would know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and right. That's, that's what right. you need. That's yeah, what you yeah, need on the boat. Hurts. So yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing yeah, your boat with me. I really appreciate it. So now that we're done with the boat tour, the real reason I'm here actually this morning is for a Turkish coffee as well as a Turkish dessert. you prefer Turkish coffee? I want to try Turkish coffee. Okay. Oh, I'm here for the experience. I'm here for the coffee experience. And then we have a sort of dessert here. Which is English is from that. I think these have been have been seen a lot on social media now. No, this, this is uh, unique so, style. Let's try to make it. Because I think this is more of an espresso yeah, style coffee, right. not the big yeah, Starbucks yeah, chug, yeah, yeah. you know? You are right. It's awesome. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Very full bouquet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one for one uh, spoon, one person. One person. Yeah. One, two. Uh, this is for uh, only three person. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. If, if you daha büyükleri istiyorlarsa uh, şey de olabilir. I love the little mugs. Yeah. Those, those are cute. Turkish mugs. Bunu söyleyebilirsin. Do you guys have a water maker on board? No. No. Is that something you you wish you had? Was a water yeah, maker? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. But it's expensive. Yes. Uh, and very very but, convenient. But, but very convenient. Very useful. Uh, it does take a lot of maybe, energy. Maybe the only thing that we don't have on board now. Yeah. We should have. We should have. Yeah. But in Caribbean, there is no problem in water. No. In water. But in Pacific, it's not so easy. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you want uh, with sugar or without sugar? I'll I'll, I'll I'll take with sugar. I'll with definitely. Sugar. <laughs> but you are going to eat. Oh, absolutely. Uh, from from that one. Samuel. Um, I've made the Spanish version. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh -huh. yeah, maybe. It's like a very traditional Turkish. Coffee. Yeah, 1871 also. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. 150 years. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. it's, now it's about to cook. Gotcha. Can we can we count it down? Ten. Yeah, yeah, nine. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> commencing, commencing countdown. Ten, yeah. nine, <laughs> just. Uh, oh yeah. wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oops. So you are going to share, it, share, like that. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, için with yeah, for, for the bubbles. For the bubbles. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I love so one, this. one more, one more. Heat. You go back and you let it get bigger yeah. up yeah, again, one, and then you share that, that top section again and again. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you guys had this particular coffee maker? It's very important. Yeah, it's very old. Yes. Yeah, very bubbles old one. For Gönlüm kaç kaç yıllık diyeyim bu kahve yapısına eski dedim ama cezve. Nasıl? Cezve eski dedim. Ee, bu bizim evlilik yıl evliliğimizden yeah, kalma. 26 years something from wow. from, from our marriage. Oh, wow. <laughs> these times. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. This is a sign that <laughs> now, Turkish coffee now, now keeps marriages together. Oh wow. Yeah, 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 now 26 years. Yeah. And you're still so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, otherwise, can you live in a small boat like that. Oh no. No, it's impossible. No, no, no. no. This is I have seen very happy since sugar. I've seen them. I have met people that didn't seem very happy on a boat. Okay. Remember, all of this started because we smelled them cooking good food and I told they, uh, hey, you want to see what the cruiser community is really like? I bet you will be invited over for dinner, yeah, breakfast, or lunch, or something. And it's only a few moments of conversation. Here's where we are. I love it. And even they have Beneteau forks. You notice this fork is perfectly made, just like everything Beneteau makes. A quick toast to yeah. all our old friends, yeah, yeah. our new friends, <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. and their friends thank to come. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Thank you. One more. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, old. It, it's a strong coffee. Oh, it's perfect. But strong. Mm, I love it's, it. it's like. Uh, I like that. Espresso. It's espresso, not yeah. bitter. Yeah. It's, it's very not unique. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, it doesn't taste like normal coffee. I mean, it tastes Maybe like normal coffee, but like. like for example, I like flavor. Espresso. Yeah, for example, mm -hmm. if you drink too much, but, uh, you're drunk, not bitter. you can eat. Yeah. Uh, you can drink this coffee without sugar. It just helps you. Wake up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to recover. Normalizes you. That is. Uh, I have to tell the history. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Sanki, boat tour ended like okay, an hour ago. But yes, now we're finding more and more out about them. And it turns out we're in the presence of a master artist. <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, I'm not a uh, uh, paint oh, yeah. artist. I'm ceramic artist. I, I think what you mean to say is you are not yet a paid artist. Ne? Yeah, uh, oh, I'm you are, shy. You are about to be. Wow. It's such a wholesome moment. I love these sort of things, just everybody being brought together and the sense of community is something that you just you don't find anywhere in normal life. And the fact that we're all traveling, we have no clue. We're not like neighbors. It's not like if one of us was a bad person, we'd know where to tell the police to go to. Like we're all just out here completely free, but as well like being so inviting and so yeah, kind to each other. It's just, yeah. this is a big yes. reason. This isn't why I got into sailing because I had no clue this existed like this. But this is why I've stayed into sailing. I probably would have gotten out of it honestly and done something else, something a little more mobile, even more than a sailboat. But because of the people out here, well, what else would I do? You know, I'd be able to have a community, be able to have, meet people so interesting, learn so much, it's just so cool. So, um, Dea is now getting a painting of her own signed by the artist, so everybody's quite happy. And I'm quite happy too. Pamir and Gunnar were the first Turkish people I'd ever really talked to. The two of them are a great example that you can go anywhere in the world and you'll find kind, wonderful people, but especially on sailboats. But the sad thing about the sailing life is that after making such great friends like this, you have to say goodbye, each sailing onward to new destinations. That's what happened here, where Jay, Dea, and myself had to sail 40 nautical miles south down to Grenada. I'm delighted to say that I'll be meeting back up with them in the near future, as they'll also be sailing down to Grenada, where I'll be for the worst parts of hurricane season, as well as to do some repairs on Adventure Born and refits I've been thinking about. As far as the boat itself, their sailboat Avara, a 40-foot Beneteau Oceana center cockpit, would probably sell for somewhere around $125,000 to $150,000, but that also largely depends on what systems they might have on the boat and the actual overall condition of the boat. For them, I would wager that their boat probably would be worth quite a bit more than that, particularly because it's obviously a turnkey boat that just got done crossing the ocean and is still actively cruising, so you know it's good to go for its purpose. However, you could probably find one yourself for considerably cheaper, probably down in the $70,000 range, and then work on it and bring it up to sailing speed in your own specifications. That does it for me here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this special look at a boat tour and into the sailing community, just how wonderful it all is. Let me know in the comments below what kind of sailboat you want to set sail on. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Cheers.